All right, you guys, I'm just going to show you guys a little gnome haul of some gnomes I got. The ones on the bottom I have made from last year. These first ones I got from Dollar Tree. So if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen that already. These are such a good deal. Even at my cost, like to make them, the sweater material was worth the dollar. Um, this little guy we got at Walmart, uh, or I should say gal. I think she's more, well, it's a guy who has a beard, but. He's girl colored. Um, it was actually ornament, but he, 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 he's so well made. He sits like just a normal gnome. I say that and he's going to fall over, but generally he sits right there. The next one I got again, I made these, these cone gnomes. Someone on YouTube has a tutorial for those. Those are just some more of the Dollar Tree ones I got, but I got these giant mama gnomes. Look at them. And these were only... E88 and they're huge look at them <clears throat> excuse me so in comparison to the Dollar Tree they are big so I got this pink one and I like the texture of the beard and then I got this one he's got gray on the bottom and then a red and white hat and I just love him um that gnome is from Walmart last year and I forgot where I picked him up probably like a TJ Maxx or something so I've had him so let me go show you guys the other gnomes coming over to my tree that's not lit up right now I did get this ornament from Walmart also it was a dollar 98 same price as that pink one so I picked him up the next gnome I got was this one at TJ Maxx and I love the hat but he's kind of like a cookie jar let me take that off here and he was $12.99. And people have been selling these on Macari for so much money. What brand is this one? Oh, the 10 Strawberry Street brand. But um, I really liked him a lot. He kind of reminds me of Where's Waldo, like with the hat. But I got him and I just freaking love him so much. And you guys probably saw these in one of my vlogs. But I got this one from TJ Maxx, and I love it. Somewhere there's a boy and a girl. I love it. And this one came from, I really don't remember where I got this one. Probably also TJ Maxx, I think. It says Sipping with my Nomies. And this is the Dollar Tree one known for the holidays which is really cute i don't know what's happening to all my straws normally on my t-bar i keep them all like in this container and i try to put them back in my tumblers but i don't know what is happening to all of them i got him this year at michael's in the tiny treasure department he is very small but he's very cute and he's uh pretty heavy he's made out of like clay or something so he's super cute next up we got these guys and my mom asked where we got them and me and Noel were trying to remember I don't remember also Michaels I think I got these at Michaels because it's the brand celebrate it so I got these uh, salt and pepper shakers. My cocoa bar is empty, but we made that out of Dollar Tree products. Thanks to YouTube, we watch Bargain Bethany, and they look really cute. Right. So um, one of the last few things I got were these gnome Christmas cards. I looked all over for gnome Christmas cards and literally couldn't find any. And I pretty much gave up on it and thought, well, I'll have to make some. And then I found these at TJ Maxx. Look how cute his little shoesies are. I just thought his cuteness beard is uh, glittery. And that's what the envelope and on the inside, let the magic begin. And these were $5.99. And how many do you get in here? 20. So that's a pretty good deal. So yeah, I grabbed those. Um, the next thing I got was this mug and it is super duper cute. It's got that kind of like Robin's egg dotting on it. Those little speckles. 
and it's got a really traditional looking gnome, more longer legged gnome, um, which is okay. I love all the gnomes, but I love the short fat ones the most. This one says gnome for the holidays. We've seen that saying a lot this year and it's got it on the back as well. But this one comes with not only the travel lid, it's by Peppermint and Pine. It also comes with this cute gnome luggage tag. And please don't think for a second I'm not going to put this on my purse because I am. I think he is super duper cute. It's this kind of flexi material. Please don't look at my nails. They are a mess. I'm working on it. Um, so it does have a gift tag, but you know, this is for me. Um, how many ounces? Um, I only paid... $6.99 for this, which to me is a steal because it is nice and heavy. It is a heavy, heavy mug. Um, the handle is nice and big. Y'all know how I feel about I don't like my fingers to touch a scalding hot mug. I mean, who does? But this one has a very nice handle, which is actually why I bought it. Um, I don't think it says how many ounces or not that I can see on here. So, but it's pretty big looking, I would say at least you know, 16 ounces, I would think. So yeah, I had to get him. And then the last gnome thing I picked up was this cute set. Let me get it here. And I think this is also by Peppermint and Pine. And it's really cute set. They had different ones, but it has this really cute, like magnetic door that you can open and this one is a Mrs. Gnome and a Mr. Gnome. Like how cute are those? So I don't know if I'm gonna give this to Bra for Christmas or if we're gonna use it before because you know, then Christmas would be over. I mean, I love Christmas year round. I don't really care, but yeah, I'll probably open it, but super cute gnome um since it's by the same company they all have that same look to them and i like these because these are the shorter more squattier ones and yeah it's got that same speckled look that the larger mug has so it's kind of a matching set which i like so i can actually display them together but i really love the box like it's so cute and like i said they had different ones uh, not not gnomes i probably would have bought all of them if they had different style notes, but they had just different styles in general. And this set was $7.99. That's so freaking cheap. And like, I don't know if I said this before because I'm filming this days later than the first part, but people are like buying up this stuff and selling it on Macari for awfully high prices. Like I'm talking a set like this on there is like $35. It's crazy. So, I mean, I think it's okay to buy stuff and make money, but to mark it up like that, especially when a lot of us know where it comes from, that's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, that's the last of my little Nomi haul. If you guys um, like seeing shopping with me or you know, collection hauls like this, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.